look what I found in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Stick around for more of the video. What's up everybody, Trucker Eats back again. Jack in the Box secret menu item. Check it out. All right guys, so today I'm back in Albuquerque again. Got Jack in the Box, because that's the only thing that's close to me. And what did we get? We've got a secret menu item. Secret item you can order off the menu. But you could probably easily just put it together yourself and save yourself a lot of headache. But we also got some curly fries. Got two tacos. We'll try those out. Jeez. That's one thing they're good about here is all the condiments. Ooh, even got napkins. Taco sauce for the tacos. And then what did we get? What's our secret menu item? Stay tuned. All right, guys. So, secret menu item. A taco double jack. Taco double jack. Oh, yeah. So, what do we got in a taco double jack? <laughs> like I said, you could probably just do this yourself, but it's a double jack. Let me get a taco double jack. <laughs> so, <laughs> I guess you can add a taco to like anything. Um, note to note to self. But I thought I'd add it to the double jack. Mmm. Curly fries are on point. Their color fries are good. Like, you can add curly fries to anything at Jack in the Box, too. Mmm. They're fresh. Alright. So this is a bit of a mess. I'm trying to get, <laughs> get some good stuff for a Thumbnail, okay, oh my gosh. Look at that. Okay, let's let's try this out. Hmm. Huh. It's oddly good. I have a feeling this taco is gonna be sliding all over the place. Mmm. Wow, that bite had the, like the bottom of the taco, the meat. <laughs> um, it's actually pretty good. So you can definitely taste the taco. You can taste the taco in there. With the hamburger. All right, here's a close up. These curly fries are really good. Their curly fries are definitely awesome. And then here's the burger. I mean, it's pretty funny because it's literally like they just put... That's all they did. They just put a taco on. So like I said, you could save yourself the aggravation of the confused employee calling the manager over, asking how to bring this up, and just get tacos and put, it, put them on yourself. But it's actually pretty good. Let's go ahead and give this taco a try. One of these tacos. I haven't had one of these in a long time. If you guys watch my mini tiny taco video, you know that these aren't my favorite. Because look, you can see, see how much shell? You can see where the meat is. Like the meat is just right here. And the rest of it's just shell. And there's like, you know, it's just, there's not... <laughs> It's pretty sad. Look at that little bit of meat. There's hardly anything in these. But people, I mean, 20 years ago, they swore by these. I never really liked them, but I haven't had one in, like I said, probably 20 years. It's better than I remember, but it's just like so much shell. Mm. 
wow that's so greasy you see that grease oh my gosh now when I stand there waiting for them to make my order they have a basket in the fryer where they just line all of them up in a row but you can see all the grease on there it's pretty good actually it was um you get two for a dollar forty-nine. Back in the day, they used to be two for a dollar. Huh. Let's go ahead and get some ketchup going here for these curly fries. So it's Sunday. I'm in Albuquerque. Had to supposed to deliver at 8 in the morning but I was picking up a load in California Salinas California for somebody else uh, that I don't know somehow something got messed up where they weren't able to pick up the load on time so I had to like rush to get it out here it's like close to a thousand miles I had to drive in like a day and a half and I got out here got out here at 12 30 today and there's you know an hour time change so I lost an hour coming out here too so that was a bit of a drive but Sunday afternoon and I'm done now enjoying some food with you guys yeah this is like super messy look at that taco sticking out pretty good I actually kind of like that hmm taco so just tell them taco double jack and they'll look at you like they have no idea what you're talking about, probably. But I think I'm going to start trying more of these secret menu items. Trying to see what's good. I know, like, in and out there's, like, animal-style fries. Which you can get. I don't think I would have ever thought to get a taco on a hamburger. All right, guys. So, what are we going to give the taco double jack on Trucker Eats here? I think I'm going to give this a four out of five thumbs up. It's pretty good. I like it. Definitely can't go wrong with their curly fries. Their curly fries are right up there with Arby's. Mm. Yeah, if you guys haven't subscribed, if you could please subscribe, drop a like, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you would eat a taco on a hamburger. And also, do you guys like curly fries better or regular straight fries? I'm definitely a curly fry guy. Till the next video, Trucker Eats, Micah, see you on the next video. Yeah, so I came across this when I was walking back into the truck stop in Albuquerque. Nice looking DeLorean. He had a bunch of other cool uh, classic cars on there, but 
this one's a favorite of my son and myself from good old Back to the Future days. I couldn't really get a good look inside just because of the glare. But it looked like it was in really good shape. I was kind of surprised how small it was. I've seen these before going down the road, but never just, you know, sitting somewhere up close like this. Let me know if you guys like uh, Back to the Future and you like the DeLorean. If you guys could subscribe, and drop a like, leave a comment down below. I'd appreciate it. Till the next video, guys.